Hey, what's going on guys? Jake with PB Quest Outdoors. So in this video, you're gonna see a lot of coyote hunting footage. That way it helps with the turkey and the deer population on the ground that I hunt. A couple of buddies of mine have scopes that are actually capable of recording the kill shot. We'll see what happens. I will have some product reviews at the end. Uh, that way, if you guys like the way that these optics perform, you can go out and buy the product and have the confidence that they're gonna work to your expectation. So stay tuned, you guys aren't gonna wanna miss this.
I mean, I feel good shooting 200 yards. Yeah, I'm fine with that, but you won't pull the trigger. If you feel so fine shooting 200 yards, you should have shot that first guy out. There's no excuse, Josh. What do you got to say well, about that, Josh? <laughs> <laughs> he was in the woods and there was two, and I thought that the, the other one might come out. When you see his butt, well, he was an in, indicator they're not coming out. <laughs> he, he was in the woods. Remember, he was in the. Once they get up in the woods, that's tough. All right, we're gonna try. What is this? Fourth. This is our fifth, fifth set. Fifth set. Fifth set. We've called in three pairs. All right, let's get after it.
Alright guys, so the footage you guys saw on this video was shot with these two optics and the guys are going to go over what gun they used and the pros and cons of the sight and the IR lights that they have. So we'll start with crackers, if you want to tell them about yours. They are 224 Valkyrie, the sight mark Wraith, Predator Tactics XXL, Coyote Reaper. Coyote Reaper. And what are the pros and cons of that setup? Pros, you, I think with night vision you can identify targets better. Cons, the sight mark wraith is biggest con, biggest con is its base power is for magnification. So scanning is harder. All right. What ammo were you using in that? That is 60 grain Hornady V Max. All right, Josh, what one are you using here? This is a Remington 700, 22 250. Same thing, sight mark Wraith. Mine has a Coyote Reaper from Predator Tactics. It's the older original one. Um, run it on the Bog Pod. What are these, the death grips. Yep, bog pod death grips. I'm just using the cheapest Remington ammunition you can buy at Walmart, 55 grain. Pros and cons, I run mine off a of power pack instead of batteries. I got a $30 power pack from Walmart. It runs it all night long, haven't had any issues. Bad thing about that is every time you unplug it, you lose date, time, all that stuff. So sometimes you see our date is wrong on it. It's because that's the reason. Like he said on the base power of these, it gives you a very small scan view. So you're not seeing a very big area whenever you're scanning with it. You really need two or three guys scanning if you're wanting to scan a 360 degree area. I just noticed you had two lights on there. This is the... I'm sorry, this isn't really the right setup, but it comes with a, the, the sight mark wraith comes with, this is the stock light that it comes with. It has a little knuckle in there for, to move. The Coyote Reaper light wouldn't mount to this. I had no way to mount it, so I just had to mount it to the original light. It's kind of handy though, because I can still adjust it. Also, if your battery goes dead in one, you have the other. Uh, it doesn't weigh that much extra, but that's the reason it's that way. All right, well, we ended up killing one. We called in quite a few. Called in seven and educated six. Called in seven and educated six. All right, guys, we're going to wrap this video up. I hope you enjoyed watching it. I had a lot of fun hunting with the Sightmark Wraith. Both Cracker and Josh didn't like that the scope had a four base magnification. It made it a lot harder to scan. I agree. Also, a pro that they failed to mention was the price. I think they paid around $400 for it, so it's pretty reasonable considering what you get. Con that they failed to mention was no audio, so subscribe to this channel if you haven't. I know, deer. She's got to touch the deer every time. Touch it. Oh, I know this one. Touch it. Oh, you want that one? Okay. Touch it. That's the spot where daddy's new deer goes. Oh goodness. <laughs> All right guys, I appreciate you watching. Hit the screen. Can you hit the screen? Say we will see you next time.